Now, the real game changer for the long term conflict that became the Cold War was the Marshall Plan. George Marshall's ideas to see America supplying um, European allies in particular with a separate plan for Japan was actually very important because it was saying, okay, we've underestimated the degree of recovery that's required. So in the short term, the Americans were looking to stabilize currencies, halt inflation, promote capitalist recovery um, that had started under the UNRA, but just simply hadn't gone far enough, and to promote cooperation amongst the European nations. But the long-term goals were probably more important, to secure Western Europe as capitalist democracies, to help Western Europe integrate into the Bretton Woods institutions and ultimately to provide wealthy markets for American exports. And the point being, in this period after 1945, even though America was very indebted, their economy had never been so buoyant. And therefore, federal returns through taxation were enormously above what was expected. There was no return to the 1930s and depression. What we are seeing is the Second World War shifting the American economy into a high growth state all the way through until 1973 and very nearly the end of our, our period as a whole. Now, um, the Marshall Plan, Marshall Aid, was actually offered to the Soviet Union. Everyone on the Western side hoped they weren't going to accept it. And there were certain conditions about internal conduct of, of planning that the Soviets could never accept. So that was um, reassuring to the Western planners. But it did also mean that Poland and Hungary, who wanted to take part, were refused participation. So the Marshall Plan is not really about the aid. Lots of people talk about the money that's transferred. It's the cooperation that was critical and that was particularly important for the long-term stability of Europe. The critical issue was that the Marshall Plan forced European cooperation uh, through the Organization of European Economic Co Cooperation, the OEEC. This had to approve uh, all of the individual four-year plans that countries were putting forward. Okay? Now, although American aid was generous, um, the Marshall Plan helped, helped economic recovery in Western Europe in capitalist terms. And it also made um, radical left-wing political agitation less likely because economic turmoil and downturn that had been seen um, in the initial period from 1945 to 1947 and the winter of 1946 to 1947 was particularly harsh. Right? The Marshall Plan helped counter that. Cooperation between France and Germany over particularly coal and iron and steel. And do remember we're talking about West Germany here. This was the foundation of the greater European cooperation um, and the 1957 Treaty of Rome, where we have the creation of the European Economic Community. It also meant that a West German-led, rejuvenated Western economy could also afford to support NATO military requirements, rather than relying wholly on the Americans. So the Marshall Plan helped put um, stability into one region of the Cold War.